President Obama, if that's his real name, Jillian, visited a mosque on Wednesday outside Baltimore to pray, I mean to preach, tolerance toward Muslim Americans. It's kind of a big deal. It was his first visit to a U.S. mosque, or at least one that we've been told about, Jillian. The president, whose middle name is Hussein, said this. And since 9-11, but more recently since the attacks in Paris and San Bernardino, you've seen too often people conflating the horrific acts of terrorism with the beliefs of an entire faith. And of course, recently we've heard inexcusable political rhetoric against Muslim Americans that has no place in our country. Inexcusable political rhetoric. Wonder who he's talking about. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Well, here's what I want to know. If the president, who is not a Muslim, <laughs> refuses to use the words radical Muslim extremist, then he's not differentiating between them and modern Muslims. And isn't that just as bad as our future president, Donald Trump, saying ban all the Muslims? Probably not, but what the heck, I say it does. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I know for a fact that somebody at, at this panel does a mean President Obama impression. So, uh, Joanne? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. Uh, well, I want to say thank you very much, and that <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm on Fox News. <laughs> there you go. All right, uh, I'm, I'm going to go to you, Gavin. Um, was, how do you feel about that visit? I'm infuriated. I, of course you would be. Wouldn't it be awesome if he got up there and said, look, there is a war going on against Christians all over the Middle East. Christians are literally being crucified. And how about we take some culpability, Muslims, and own up to this genocide that's going on? Wouldn't that just blow your mind? What about you, Jillian? You have a, you have a look on your face. Gavin like... wants some cheese with that wine. <laughs> hey. I'm whining I about think... dead children? I've been, Sorry, I've been sitting me a big cry baby. synagogue for seven, seven years, sitting there every Saturday morning waiting for the president to show up. Mm -hmm. Not once. Mm -hmm. But that aside, I think it's great that he went to the mosque because in the war against terrorism, something very important that's going to have to happen is eventually we're going to have to defeat radical Islamic ideology. And we can't do that without getting the buy-in of Islamic leaders, of the leaders of Muslims, the imams who are at these mosques. And I think it's about time we made them take accountability, some leadership positions, step up and actually encourage their the 99.9% the .9 of their followers who are moderate, peaceful Muslim, try 25 to fall in line. But he wasn't even doing that at this mosque. Well, I, it well was no, he did. Tour. No, 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 he did. I think I not in this clip, that. but part of what he said, part of what he talked about was that it's time for the imams to step forward and really start preaching about why it's important to not go the way of But wasn't a good idea to do it at a mosque this. that has past ties to terror? Hmm. Okay, the, the fact that this mosque has past ties to terror is something that's still up for grabs. It's not a... I'm grabbing. That's not a... <laughs> it's not a tried and true uh, idea. Okay. Maybe it's irreparable. Maybe it, they're unassimilable. Mm. I don't know. You know, uh, I think the whole, the whole problem here, I think, is that uh, people who are too devout... <laughs> Yeah, but that's you don't problem. have fundamentalist Christians blowing up anything. Yeah, that's true. But, but I mean, but they and do. when they do, they get chastised by the rest of all the Christians. These moderate Muslims just seem to be shrugging every time there's an explosion. Well, let me uh, bring Kat into this. Kat, uh, Jeb Bush said it was a good idea. Yeah, well, Jeb Bush says a lot of things. He really, <laughs> really does. He's trying everything to try to be. He's, he's adorable. The Bushes are all adorable. So we just kind of say, hey, that's cute. What about you? Move on. What about you? What do Look, you think? I think that it doesn't matter. I think that's something we need to talk about openly and honestly. But the problem with someone like Trump is that he just also thinks it's cool to be kind of like mean, right? With Obama, even if what he's doing and saying is stupid, people just assume, oh, but he means it like a loving way. And for whatever reason, people are super into love. There's some things that we don't know that's going on, right? There are Muslims cooperating with, you know, in the, in the war on terror, but they can't talk about it because they're cooperating. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we treat those guys really badly, too. The guy who helped us find Osama is, is still in jail, jail yes. right now. That's getting true. Getting crap pounded out of him. Yeah. But look, one in four, the, the young Muslims tend to say, one in four tend to say that suicide bombing is sometimes or often justified. 25% is an insanely high number. That's not 0.1%.
I, I, that blows my mind. I yeah. really struggle to believe that that's a legitimate poll that was taken more anywhere than your mind. in the universe. Send out all your limbs flying. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you kids. <laughs> they blow up so fast, don't they? <laughs> 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 they blow up so fast. My God. All right, don't move. We got stuff. More stuff. In fact, we got to look at a brand new show featuring the ridiculously handsome Lou Dobbs and some average-looking ladies.